All right. So we are finished in the heat of reaction section. We can now go to the main flow sheet. So we are still inside the reaction section. Go to the main flow sheet, right? You have fit products and you have reactor. Right click at the reactor. All right. And you can go to the results. Okay, so this is the result section. You have summary, balance, phase equilibrium, reactions, and status. All right, this is the status. Now we go to the summary. So this section is important. The outlet temperature, the same temperature, 343 Kelvin, outlet pressure, one atmosphere. And this is the heat duty, net heat duty. All right or you can also say or call it as the heat of reaction. You can turn it to kilojoule per second, for example, and this one, the kilojoule per hour. Usually we use this unit, kilojoule per hour, or we can also use maybe BTU per hour or cal per second, right? But I prefer for now kilojoule per hour. And this is the vapor fraction. And the first liquid divided by total liquid, one. Okay, so far so good. Very simple, right? Very simple, and we can check the balance. All right, so we have this one in 100 kilomol per hour. The outlet, the same 100 kilomol per hour. All right in terms of mass and in terms of enthalpy. Okay, mass, of course, they will be the same. And the mole will be 100 and 100 because the stoichiometric coefficients, all the coefficients are one, right? One benzene, one chlorine, one chlorobenzene, and one HCl. And this is the enthalpy, all right? relative difference. Okay, so far so good. From here, we can go back to the main flow sheet. All right, right click and stream results. Okay, so you can check. This section is also important. I will click this one, auto hide. Okay, description from reactor to reactor stream class conventional. All right, that's not very important. You can go down. Okay, you can check the molar enthalpy, mass enthalpy, molar entropy, thermodynamic properties, right? Density in the feed stream and also the product stream. You can expand the mole flows. Okay, so yeah, because you are asked about the molar flow rate and the compositions, then we have the answers here in terms of molar flow rate, kilomole per hour. This is what we have, all right? The feed stream is the benzene and chlorine and 80% of the benzene will be converted. So 80% of 50 will be 40, so 50, minus 40, of course, will be 10. That's why we have 10 here. Chlorine 10, right? And 80% of the benzene will be the products, right? To be the chlorobenzene and HCl. And we have 40 kilomole per hour for the chlorobenzene and for the HCl, right? And in terms of mole fractions, just expand it very easily, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.5 as per data, the mole fractions of the benzene and the chlorine in the feed stream. And we have the mole fractions in the outlet streams or product streams. In terms of mass flows, mass fractions, vapor pace, and others, right? So. You can understand it, you can see, you can follow through. 
So the stoichiometric reaction using the stoichiometric reactor in this S Pen Plus is very easy, very user friendly. S Pen Plus guides us through, all right, to perform the simulation of this reaction. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope the video is useful and thank you so much. See you again in the next Aspen Plus videos. Thank you.